and then got out. Yeah, pretty much. That's about all you could have done. I know I had an anvil here. I'm not crazy. Uh, Cassie, you, you want to chime in on that point, or <laughs> should I? We all know he's crazy. <laughs> I know I had one here, I swear. Sorry, that boat is sailed. You need to accept it. Ah, uh, Anvils are expensive as hell. Yes, they are, Charlie, but you need to get over it. <laughs> hey, Charlie, guess what I just found? What? Books! I thought you were about to tell me an anvil. No, books. It would have been much funnier if it was an anvil. Yeah, I know, but somebody had came to this village, and they had, they had like, started digging in the ground and everything, but they didn't take nothing from the village. They just dug in the ground. Yeah, and then that left. is a pretty sloppy way of harvesting a village. Yeah, like, they have lanterns and everything inside the ground, but... Like, here's another village right here beside it. There's two villages right here beside it. Let me see. What, what layer am I in? And, like, they didn't take nothing. Like, there was armor and bread and chests and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so apparently I'm at layer 62. Yes. Wait a minute. How the hell could that be? I don't know. We're in I a mesa. Just, I mean, mesas I are actually I down, low. at least. Where I'm standing is at layer 64, so. And that that's next to the barn. The barn is at layer 64. Oh, well, hell. This this is this is weird. Yeah. The I one... might have been on a slight hill when I originally started digging, because I've dug quite deep. I honestly thought I'd be nearing bedrock level at this point. Nope. Me we might be on a Mesa Plateau, but I don't think we are because it's not I mean, a Savannah Plateau. Um, but it's it's too close to water level, um, ocean level for it to really be a plateau. So, Alex, correct me if I'm wrong. Zombies and skeletons won't track you over carpet, right? Um, I don't know that, actually. That... I don't think they can. Hmm. Now, I do know that those two new uh, mobs that they added in the latest update... Um, they don't burn in they... the sun. Yeah, they, they don't burn in the sun. That gives us a whole new way to... Well, they're, those are only in the deserts, so... Yeah. So, like, you know how, how it doesn't rain in the deserts? It, it just means that they um, won't die in the day while it's raining, is all that means. Because um, zombies, normal zombies and skeletons burn in the desert even when it's raining. It's picky about savannas, um, but they don't spawn in savannas. I also don't think that they burn during the day in savannas, if it's raining. Hmm. Oh, wow. I swear if this anvil shows up later, I'm going to be so mad. I'll laugh. I'm going to be mad. Mm. I'll laugh. There's that pop drop. There's that. Mm. I really need the wheat. You know, I, I missed I missed that time we were running that modded server on uh, Feed the Beast. Uh, Mons of Insanity? Yeah. Mm hmm yeah, it sucks Duncan had to crap out on everything. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it, it really it really sucks that it all, like, how it all went down and all that, and how it all actually failed. Yeah. So. I mean, we, we, we made something amazing, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, my, my evil secret base and all that, all that crazy crap we put together, it was astounding. It would have been great if we could have actually gotten it on the... Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I tried to, but the, yeah, I lost I mean, the world yeah, before yeah, it, I could. Like you said, it corrupted. <sighs> so, I built this room with a one-wide doorway, so I can't put the beds in the very center. Gosh darn it. Poor Charlie. I know. I'm pitiful, ain't I? Mm, yes. So, I guess I will quickly learn if mobs can or cannot spawn on carpet. I think I should put it there. I've never seen one spawn on carpet. I was reading about it last night, and it said as of 1.8, 1.8. 
or 1.9, that mobs no longer spawn on carpet because now it's a one because it now now it's as high as a pressure plate, so it's not a solid block anymore. I found somebody's house and they have nothing protected. Wow. Wait, what about chest? Um, Wait a minute. Why would that matter if they have nothing protected? The rules for this server say no griefing or stealing. Yeah, I know. I, I was about to say, don't go stealing stuff now. Not on this server. Um, they have all their chests protected, that's but fine. the fridge. That's that don't matter. I just just don't take nothing. Oh, I'm not. Don't break. Or nothing. if you, or if you are taking something, don't tell us. Hey. I'm she, not. She's they already have... got a video where we already stole someone else's house on a different server. Yeah, like they had literally left it, and like that server, you you should be able to put your stuff anywhere. And it be yours, and somehow they still did not make it theirs. Yeah, like oh. they um they unlock their chest where the chests weren't locked. Whenever you place a chest, it automatically locks them. But they unlock their chest, and but there's no land protection on this server, which is why I I really don't like it because it's easy to get griefed. But today the server was down. I couldn't see it. So yeah, I couldn't see it either. So it's not just me. I am I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I swear I'm not. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I was doing. I remember, uh, I need to go to the admin shop, get a sea lantern, and some wood. Admin shop. Nothing news on, um, in auction. So, you guys seen the polar bears yet? I have not seen them yet, like physically seen them in vanilla Minecraft, but I have um, seen them other places. I just got Lima Hayes' head. Why? How? It was on the ground. Okay, then. You should bring it back and we shall mount it. Is Lima Hayes online? No. Mm. Why? Oh, Alex, you can marry someone on this server. Oh Jesus Christ! Hell no, Charlie. Charlie, I, I know what I know what. You're I'm already do. married, Alex. I swear. Uh, yeah. I'm, yeah mm, mm, no. I'm married. I'm already married. I married Cassie. Unfortunately, you can't just do it freely anymore. You actually have to have an admin, or I think a mod might be able to, but at least an admin marry you, because they have to be a priest that does it. I didn't even look to see. Okay, so these sea lanterns were only three hundred fifty dollars. That wasn't that bad. Cassie, Cassie, I, I believe we can agree on something here. This whole concept is rather scary now. Hey, hey, yes. what, what, what do you mean? I could kiss Cassie now. Charlie, I can't do it from farther Holy than two crap, blocks there's away. There's a creeper down here. Okay, should have let up the way. Should have let it up. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, I think you want some coal it. now, Alex. Run, run, run. Okay, so Alex, you know how like um how like an eighteenth century I had my doors auto shut and all that? Crap. Oh, it doesn't damage blocks, never mind. <laughs> no, no, um no, uh grief grief protection's on. Um no, um okay, Alex, we have all of the L W we have all of the L W C commands, like you could um like you could add permissions to chest and all that and you could make doors auto shut and all that. However, if you want a hopper to work with a chest you have to um do, you have to put a flag on it and turn hoppers on for that device for hoppers uh -huh. to pull stuff in or out of a chest. So okay, my auto, my right. auto incinerator. It originally it was a um, hopper minecart because those don't get protected at all, and anything that goes in this chest is just, it's just gone forever, no matter what you lose it. Um, but um, you could um, took me about an hour to figure out that like what it was that allowed me to do it. It's a flag you have to do to turn hoppers on for it so well it, it shouldn't be much of a problem i mean it'd take a miracle to figure out where i am <laughs> oh no no well no I, i'm just saying if if you want to um use hoppers and all that you're, you're gonna need to know that i mean it'd still be good to have some i've official... never found an actual use for a hopper yet so. and i i use them mostly for incinerators that's probably it and you could use them for sorting systems that's the only other thing i've ever actually used a hopper for ah okay i got torches now oh. wow i settled right under a vein of coal 
that's good for you. A vein of coal. Sounds fun. I guess I know what I'm getting you for Christmas, Charlie. <laughs> a bag of coal? No, because in this game, coal is actually useful. A bag of dicks, a bag of dicks, a bag of motherfucking dicks, a bag of dicks, a bag of dicks. I can't even remember the song. You're so stupid, Charlie. Thank you, I try. <laughs> and that was our input from the peanut gallery. We have a peanut gallery? Yes, we do. Yay! I'm trying to think of what I want to do next. If I want to build the walls, the roof, or go ahead and get the lighting up. Get the lighting. Yeah, lighting is key. Yeah, probably. I mean, I've already I've got a lamp in here. That's it. <laughs> so, Alex, to make a button turn off, um, turn on and off redstone lamps by one push, what would I need to do exactly? Well, that depends how many lamps are you talking about here. It, it's going to turn on the whole entire circuit. Oh, whole entire circuit. Well, that wouldn't be very hard to do. All you would need is actually a redstone inverter, and I'm guessing these lamps are in the ceiling? Yep. You would need to run redstone over the entire assortment of lamps, make sure that there's a repeater every now and again to... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. No, like, just to make the button switch to circuit is what I'm trying to think of. Yeah, you'd need a redstone inverter. That's all you really need. You hit the button once, and the redstone inverter just makes it happen. Yeah, I know, but whenever I hit it again, I need it to, like, turn off as well. It It'll do that. Saying. Okay. I just have to remember how to do that now. <laughs> it's been so long since I've okay, done okay, this. Okay, okay, Charlie, Charlie. Here's an, here's an easy way how to remember it. Yes. What you do is you take a button, you mm -hmm. put it on a block, and then you put a redstone torch on the other side of it. Redstone inverter in three Yes, that, that does that, but that only lasts for as long as the button is pushed. Well, you do have to invert back to make sure it stays correct. Yes. So, it's kind of hard to explain. Maybe I... Do you have the redstone stuff? I have redstone, yes. You, you have the repeaters. You have the... No, I don't have the repeaters yet. Um, You shouldn't need repeaters yet. Like, I, I just need to remember how to... Well, no, for to switch you, I would need repeaters is the issue. So I need to go... Well, I mean, I can tell you exactly what to do to make it happen once you have the repeaters to continue the signal or whatnot. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, so if, if you need any help with that, just, just tell me. I mean, me. I know how to make signal continue. It's just been so long since I've actually done redstone. I just have to remember how exactly you have to wire it all again. Well, with a lamp, you can pretty much just run the redstone wire near it, and it'll work. Yes. I mean, I'm going to run the wire directly over the lamps. So. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's what I do. As a matter of fact, if I remember correctly, back in Bullet Survival, that's exactly what I did to make my indoor farms. Probably was. Yeah. I mean, I mean r running I, running the redstone over it makes it just easier because I could literally just add a repeater in the center of them because it's probably only going to be like four lights, maybe. It might end up being more than that because of... Oh, I thought you were is. talking about like a big time thing, Charlie. There's a much easier way. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I just need the button to invert the signal every, every time I push it. So it, it inverts it once the first time I push it, then it inverts it a second time after I push it again. So say they're on and I push the button, it turns them off, and then I have to push the button again to turn them back on. I like, yeah, that, I, I need, that shouldn't I need be a, too difficult to do. I need a, I need a inverter and lock. That's what I actually need. Yeah, pretty much. I just don't remember how to do a inverter and lock. I mean, I could figure that out, though. Um, let me go ahead and um, get all of this set up downstairs first, though. You know, 
it probably occurs to me that living at layer 27, while though a good security measure, um, is going to make it quite hard to get back up. 